Hey guys, in the name of providing more content, figured I'd breeze through here. I really should have set up the camera and did you guys a time lapse. I've been working on this area that was uh, forestry mulched recently. And what I've done here so far is I uh, rode through the flail mower to try to chop it up finer. And uh, been working on it with a landscaping rake, but it's gonna take a long while. There's a lot, a lot of layers of stuff. But I'm gonna have to come back through here um, and try to make this passable for the tractor because there's some areas over here that, that are a little hard to get to with the tractor. And there's some areas that I can't really get to with the tractor that I'm gonna have to probably rake into small piles and burn. That's probably gonna be the best case scenario. They'll add some potassium to the soil too. So I think that might be a good option. But it's uh, about three o'clock on Saturday. I'll put the date in the title because <laughs> I don't remember what the date is. And uh, yeah, I have to go play a show later. So to cut off about now, I wanted to walk back through and look. in the daylight because every other time I've been out here it's been like right after the rains and the rains did get us pretty good but uh you know now it's just what's left over that's all yeah, heck it may be the, the easiest thing to do might be just to rake everything in the little piles and burn it because there's still a lot of stuff that the forestry mulcher didn't chop. It knocked down quite a bit of stuff, but it's uh, it leaves large chips in some cases. So, you know, it's uh, one of those things where you have to clean up after the cleanup, so to speak. So, it may be better to run through here with a torch. gasoline on this joker and set it ablaze just to clear it out quick I think that's how they used to do it in the old old days but yeah you can still see there's quite a bit of water standing yeah let's look over here and see what's coming out if any very very light flow can't even tell it's running let me look down there for you that's where it's supposed to be coming out. You can see the water, you know, moving a little bit. But that could also be the wind. Water's still standing over here in the short field. But yeah, this is the area that I probably really need to put the backhoe on and and handle. But I wanted to clean up all the debris. And he did a pretty good job. I don't think he's as fearless with his blade, though. He probably could have went a little into the dirt and uh, did a better job of uh, turning this into, you know, finely shredded stuff. <laughs> he did a good job on this stump. I don't know if you guys remember. I had a rotty tree. Oh, golly. I wonder how long ago it was. It was good. Uh, at least six months ago. And uh, I chopped on the top of it, which is over here. But he did take the, uh, the mulcher to that, which I'm glad, it's pretty. I'm gonna walk along the creek side on this side. Of course he couldn't get up in there. I got stuff piled. I'll get that. I might run through here with the flail again, but I want to sharpen the blades before I do. <clears throat> I just took it off the tractor today because I wanted to use a landscaping rake. Yeah, the creek, the creek is uh, really nice, I think. I think it's fantastic shape. I love what he did here. Because there, there was nothing but privet. Nothing but privet.
I still got these four by fours here I need to do something with and I will yeah so the property rolls in a weird pattern here There's a squirrel. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. But yeah, that's the area I was working in, you know, several months ago, trying to clear out. It looks like he he did a fantastic job getting this in uh, workable order. I'm really glad I did this. It wasn't cheap, but I believe it was worth it. Yep. Followed by marks too. I just got to get out here and clean up all this type stuff. That's the only thing is I felt I feel like they could have been a finer grind on these, but. This is what it is. I'm gonna walk over here and check too, and see how deep. This is supposed to be eight hours worth of work. I see some of my marking paint. What we got over here, a rabbit, maybe? That's what it sounds like. Let's see how deep I marked over here. So I might still have some work to do for myself. This looks like an area that I drove through way back. I see some of the marking paint somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll give you another pan around. Hopefully, I'll have this in shape pretty soon.